Happy birthday, Cancers! Hope you guys really enjoyed your birthday season. Hope it was a really good one. So for anybody who's unfamiliar with my birthday readings, they're very, very general. I usually do a couple spreads to try to get different groups of people, uh, to get messages for different groups of people. Sometimes when I do that, though, sometimes it is just the same message reiterated. So just know that going into it. Um, for anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. This is very general, like I said, so it can apply to literally excuse me literally every as uh, <laughs> aspect of your life okay <laughs> any aspect of your life okay cancers let's go ahead and get into this in the first spread uh using the steampunk deck as the whole deck just fell out of my hands wow oh. <laughs> whole deck just fell out of my hands all right cancers i guess you got a lot to say um using the steampunk as the primary deck here okay in the first spread any messages for Cancers? Any messages for Cancers? Keep in mind, guys, since this is very general, this can relate to something coming up for you, something you're currently going through, or something from the past. Anytime you come across this video, even if it's a year from now, it could resonate, okay? So just know that whenever you're drawn to watch this is when you're meant to see it, all right? Any messages for Cancer? Hmm. Any messages for Cancer? Any messages for cancer? Okay. Any messages for cancer? Any messages for cancer? Oh boy. Oh wow, a lot of cards, cancer. So we have five of cups, scorpionic energy, not the happiest of vibrations to start out, start out with. <laughs> My words will be back with me in a couple weeks. All right, six of swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, and then Nine of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Oh my. Uh, someone's really in their emotions. Someone's really in their feel really, really in their feelings. Over over um, a relationship that's been lost or something that's been very, very dear to their heart uh, lost. Cancer, this could be you or this could be someone that you're connecting with. Having a really, really hard time dealing with it as well. With the Two of Pentacles, someone's trying to weigh out their options as to how to deal with their emotions here and how to deal with this situation. But given how many swords we have, here, I'll hold all the cut cards up here. I almost said cups. <laughs> hold all the cards up here for you, Cancers. Um, well, given all the sword energy we have with the Six of Swords in a verse and Nine of Swords in a verse, this is a lot of late nights, a lot of lack of sleep, a lot of mental torture, a lot of anxiety as well. A lot of anxiety of trying to figure out what to do here. And it is because someone is feeling the brunt of very, very deep, sad kind of emotions over something that has been lost. A little bit of depression along with that, okay? Let's see what else we got going on here. Any messages for cancer? Any messages for cancer? I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with this. That's what this person's saying. Don't know how I found myself here is also what I'm getting. Wow, that's it, Cancer. Overall energy, we do have three of wands, Aries energy. Expecting something to happen, though. Ships coming in. Change is afoot. I'm getting that change is afoot. I think that's why this person's freaking out a little bit. I think this person's been in this energy of Five of Cups for quite a while. But because there's this sense of anticipation feeling something coming, feeling like a shift in the wind, so to speak, is making this person kind of freak out and be like, okay, I need to do something. I need to do something, but I don't know what to do. And it's it's feeling a little panicky and I'm really feeling for this person here, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. Let's look at the Five of Cups in detail and see what is at play here, all right? Mm. Time up Five of Cups. Someone's doing a lot of drinking as well. Someone's definitely doing a lot of drinking. Time up Five of Cups. For cancer. Time up five of cups for cancer. Someone's having anxiety attacks. Mostly at night. That's interesting. Mostly at night. I feel like it's work related. But some in this group are taking their work home, and so it's like happening late at night when they're trying to sleep, and then their mind starts to go a little haywire, right? Because they can't stop thinking about things. Talking about Five of Cups for Cancer. Talking about Five of Cups for Cancer. Talking about Five of Cups for Cancer. 
see what we got here. Oh, whoa, Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. So yeah, this is definitely about someone's home environment, family environment, about someone's um, emotional fulfillment, feeling like you can't get better than the emotions that you, that you have. This is something that this person's lost. This person feels like they lost their shot at the Ten of Cups energy, like lost their shot at being incredibly, incredibly happy. Definitely losing their shot at family, losing their shot at a relationship. That's that's definitely the vibe that I'm getting with this. Either way, this person is very depressed at home or very unhappy while at home as well. Tell me more about the Five of Cups for Cancer. Tell me more about the Five of Cups for Cancer. Tell me about Five of Cups for Cancer. Let's see here. Ooh, High Priestess in Reverse. Piscean Energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. This is secrets coming out. Um, knowledge being shared. Knowledge being shared. This person, I think, has been keeping very tight-lipped about this for a while, about what they're feeling, what they're going through. But now it's coming out. It's coming out. Their family might be realizing something's up. There might even be conversations about this. See what else we have here. So I'm over with the Five of Cups for Cancer. I'm going to clarify this High Priestess a little bit further. See what else we get off of it. Tell me about the Five of Cups for Cancer. Tell me about the Five of Cups for Cancer. If someone has a drinking problem, the family's about to find out. Tell me about Five of Cups. Oh, yeah. Lost love. Two of Cups. Can't Syrian energy. Soulmate energy here. Overall energy for the Five of Cups. I like seeing this. World in reverse. Fixed energy. So Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorp Scorpio. Also Saturn, which rolls Capricorn. Underneath that, we do have the Sun. Leo energy. So this cycle is coming to a close. The cycle of sadness. The cycle of depression. The, even like that drinking that I'm picking up on is coming to a close and happiness is basically on the other side of closing out this chapter. But this is definitely about love. Oh man, this is definitely about love. Definitely about relationships here, family or lovers. All right, family or lovers. You could even, you know, love a friend, but it feels more, <laughs> it feels a little deeper than that, right? But let's look at the high priestess in reverse. I'm curious about what's coming out here. I'm gonna use Alice in Wonderland to clarify that and then we'll move on to the other cards. Tell me about the High Priestess in Reverse for Cancer. Tell me about the High Priestess in Reverse for Cancer. Tell me about the High Priestess in Reverse for Cancer. Tell me about the High Priestess in Reverse for Cancer. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the Eight of Cups come out here. Tell me about the High Priestess in Reverse for Cancer, which is movement, forward movement ahead towards happiness. Let's see what this person decides to do, whether it's you or someone else, Cancer. Tell me about the High Priestess in Reverse. You'll know if this is you, so just take it as it resonates. Tell me about the High Priestess in Reverse for Cancer. Who? Three of Swords, Pain and Heartache, Libra Energy. This coming out, this being revealed to whoever needs um, needs to come into the knowledge about it is actually causing a lot of pain. It's causing a lot of pain. Tell me about High Priestess in Reverse. I feel like whoever's also been in this state, again, like I said, they've been keeping very tight-lipped about it, but it's essentially just the heartache that they've been going through that's been putting them through this, and it's about to be known. Tell me about the High Priestess in Reverse for Cancer. Tell me about the High Priestess in Reverse for Cancer. Tell me about the High Priestess in Reverse for Cancer. Tell me about the High Priestess in Reverse for Cancer. Mm. Tell me about the High Priest. Yeah, wow. Someone's been running from their emotions. Definitely someone's been running from their emotions. Now we have a King of Cups in Reverse, Scorpionic Energy. Could also be Water or Air. With the Magician in Reverse, Mercurial Energy, so Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader, Divine Masculine Energy. Someone's been trying really hard to run away from their emotions, been trying not to feel this. But in, do, in trying not to feel any bad things and trying to be emotionally detached or emotionally unavailable, this person's actually become much more depressed. And it's because they're in pain. They don't want to feel pain. They don't want to feel pain. But because of that, they also haven't been able to manifest very well is also what I'm getting. 
Like, they've been trying to deceive themselves into, like, not feeling anything to just keep things moving along. But that hasn't been working. Overall energy for the High Priestess in reverse, we have Knight of Pentacles. Oh, focus. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. This is definitely someone coming forward to reveal this, okay? Cancer, and I feel like this is someone heading your way. Knight of Pentacles is also um, a knight that is indicative of growth. Growth. Slow growth, but you know, that's why it's growth, because sometimes it needs to happen slow, so it's done right. Um, but this knight is definitely stepping forward and sharing this information. Definitely sharing this information, and there is a very strong soul connection here. Um, definitely soul tribe energy, okay? Let's keep it moving. So this person who is in this mode, like I said, hasn't been dealing so well, but they're feeling a shift. <laughs> Sorry, guys, let me get some water. Mm. I'll keep you right here. Oh, I don't like that, actually. I'll keep it down here. All right. So this person hasn't been dealing well. And with that Two of Pentacles energy, they need to figure out what to do. They need to figure out what to do because they feel a shift coming. Either something's coming their way um, or they're just feeling a shift of energy and they feel the need to act. Okay, they feel the need to act because of it. So let's look at the two of pentacles in detail and see what what options they're weighing out in their head. Okay, let's see what they're thinking. I'm going to use Gilded Tarot to clarify. Why do I feel crowded? There we go. Starting with the two of pentacles for Cancer. Tell me about the two of pentacles for Cancer. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles for Cancer. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles for Cancer. Either way, Cancer, like, no matter how this person comes off, they have a lot of love for you. There's a lot of love going on in this situation, okay? A lot of cups. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Cancer. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Cancer. One more. Okay. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Cancer. I think this person usually comes off as cold, kind of colder energy, not super warm and fuzzy, mostly because of this energy of like trying not to feel, trying not to feel emotions. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Cancer. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Cancer. Let's see what we got here the star Aquarian energy which makes a lot of sense how do I just get to healing <laughs> that's what this person's like saying how do I just get to some peace some serenity some calm how do I get to where I'm supposed to be how do I get to a more balanced place so that's the highest priority for this person which I think is very healthy it's very healthy but they're clearly having a hard time trying to figure that out okay on how to do that tell me okay tell me about two of pentacles Oh my. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Cancer. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Cancer. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Cancer. This is really interesting. So now we have a Page of Pentacles and a King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is Taurian energy, could also be Earth or um, Air. Overall energy for the Two of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be Air or Fire. Underneath that, we have the Fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius. So <laughs> in, in trying to figure this shit out, I actually feel like this person is, is talking to a friend Page of Pentacles, I'm getting a very, like, friend vibe, a little bit of a bestie vibe. It could be someone that they go, that they went to school with at a younger age, someone they knew at a younger age. You could have gone to school with this person, Cancer. Either way, I feel like this Page of Pentacles is talking to this King of Pentacles about this, about how to get to the star. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, Cancer, because you're not very, you're not actually really here. This is a whole lot about this other person. You might be sensing that this is this is going on and you're and I think you have that yeah 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 yeah. Some of you just need this confirmation because you know something's going on, you know something's changing, you're feeling this three of wands energy along with them. You can feel movement. You're feeling movement, and you're right, Cancer, because there's a friend that's basically telling them how to get that star energy and the solution. Hold on, if I could pick it up. The solution is to come in and talk. Take the chance to just have the conversation. 
take the chance to have the conversation. Take the chance to talk about the truth and the pain that's being felt and the love that's being felt. I mean, my goodness. Cancer, this person felt like they lost all of this. They still want it, but they feel like they've been losing all of this. And once they just come in as a Knight of Pentacles and a Knight of Swords, taking that risk, because Fool is taking that leap of faith, right? Taking that risk to go ahead and talk is going to really close out this cycle and bring in a lot of happiness and a lot of freedom and a lot of relief for them as well. Definitely a lot of relief for them as well. Wow. So I, I pretty much retired this deck from YouTube, but I'm feeling compelled to use it. So lucky you, Cancers, we're using it. Romance Angel deck. And then we're going to get into another spread here, okay? Especially because this feels very, very romance heavy. It's like, you know, it almost feels a little, almost feels a little rom-com. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Oh my gosh, my throat chakra. Okay. Hmm. It almost feels a little rom-com. You know, like someone's sad, someone's kind of upset. They feel like they lost their chance at like ultimate happiness with in love with someone. And there's this coming forward and trying to, and wanting to talk about it after they've gotten some advice from a friend. After they've gotten some advice from a friend. I'm also feeling a little bit of childhood healing here. Hold on before I get into those cards. <sighs> yeah, I'm feeling some childhood healing. Especially because this person, Cancer, whoever they are to you, we're in a lot of pain and pushing away emotions because of this pain. Probably they've had a lot of hurt in past relationships. And there's that healing of their younger self to fully grow into who they're really supposed to be. Who they're really supposed to be. Some of them might be realizing that that's what they need to do. Spend some more time healing their inner child and their childhood wounds in order to be a more put together person for you, Cancer. And then they'll come in and talk. Um, that's definitely going on for some. All right. Okay. Let's keep it going. Any messages for cancers regarding this spread? All right. This is very quick. Let's see what we have here. Oh, oh my. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture and finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life. This could be career related. There could be some money involved in this. We've got a lot of pentacles here, but I often find that whatever's going on in your love life tends to sort of transpire into your work environment. So if your love life is going good, you tend to be more productive at work. You tend to be a lot happier at work and same goes for vice versa, right? If things are kind of shitty in your love life, if things have really got you down, like, depressed like this person it's gonna be kind of hard to focus on work right um it's also that energy of really wanting to collaborate and really wanting to put in work and effort with this conversation this person wants to talk cancer this person wants to talk and they want to be honest with you they're gonna talk a lot more about the pain than the love is also what i'm getting though i think that's because they just excuse me i think that's just because they've been carrying so much pain with them for so long so just be prepared for that but engagement, this is definitely about ascending and leveling up your connection with each other, okay, from wherever it is now. So if it's in the pits, you can get it back to a more neutral state and then working it up to more lovey-dovey state. If things have just, if you just had like a little fight and you've been together forever, I'm sure you guys will just be back to being peachy keen very, very quickly, okay? It just depends on where all of you are at. Let's see what else we get. Oh, come on. Any messages for Cancer regarding this spread? Any other messages for Cancer regarding this spread? Oh, okay, we got one more. Let's see what this is. Oh, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I feel like it's already here. When this card landed, it landed right on the Five of Cups, which was the very first card out. You guys have been in separation for a little while. There's been a little bit of a rift. Some of you had a full-on breakup, okay? But this is basically indicating there's some distance of some kind, physical or emotional or mental, between the two of you, okay? But then is it's all about this energy of just hashing it out. Hashing it out, talking about it, expressing what you guys are really feeling about it, how you guys felt about what has happened. And like I said, this person seems some, some of your people, some of your king of pentacles seem to be getting advice from a friend on how to do this while others are healing their inner child issues that led to this separation to come forward and take that chance and just talking with you. Okay, Cancer? And overall, 
soulmate. <laughs> we already knew that, right? Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, Cancer, not a bad first spread for your birthday reading. I kind of like how it ended. It ends in a good place. Let's see what else we can get for some other Cancers here. Let me clear the board. <clears throat> see, what do I want to start off with as the primary? Mm, you know, I haven't used Legacy Deck for the primary in a while. Let's use this one. <clears throat> All right, Cancers. Where are we at? Okay, about 20 minutes. Perfect. Perfect marker. <clears throat> I'm seeing fishing all of a sudden. I don't know what that's about. <clears throat> fishing, fishing, fishing. Maybe you guys are fishing. Maybe you guys are fishing for answers. Fishing for information. I don't know. It feels a little scorpionic to me, actually. Yeah, and all of a sudden I'm getting a lot of Scorpio energy and a Oh, and a lot of Capricorn energy. A lot of Scorpio energy and Capricorn energy just came in. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I need a little chapstick. Give me a minute. Sorry. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Doing a lot of videos today. Any messages for other Cancers? Any messages for other Cancers? I'm trying to focus on other groups here. Any messages for other Cancers? Any messages for other Cancers? <laughs> Any messages for other Cancers? Any messages for other Cancers? One more. Any messages for other Cancers? Okay, that feels good. Any messages for other Cancers? a lot we're not taking those any messages for other cancers <clears throat> okay let's see what we have here six of swords okay aquarian energy this is calm 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 coming in cancer i like it i really like it I, i'm getting almost like a slow walk away like a very composed sophisticated walking away from a situation, leaving something behind, heading towards something, but there's something very, again, sophisticated, high class, high class about it. Let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> leaving with dignity. That's what I just got, leaving with dignity. Any messages for, oh, oh, okay, I see. Four of Wands in reverse Aries energy. Walking away from a relationship or something that's been broken, a broken foundation. Could even be a loss of a job. Either way, it's something that was built and is now no longer, okay? And walking away with dignity. Any other messages for Cancers? <clears throat> Any other messages for Cancers? Page of Cups, okay. Okay. Some apologies coming in here. I'm also getting just sincere emotion and sincere support. Cancer, whatever it is that you're leaving, I feel like it's you who's doing the leaving. I feel like whatever it is you're leaving behind, you're leaving very sophisticated. You're leaving in a very high class manner with a lot of respect, a lot of dignity. But there is a lot of support on the other end of it is what I'm getting to. I'm feeling hugs, feeling lots of hugs, lots of hugs. Any other messages for Cancers? Could even be an apology, but I am getting more hugs than anything else. Like a place to kind of land, a place to fall. Let's see here. Ooh, Cancer, the moon. Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. You don't, you don't know you have support on the other side. Oh, Cancer, it's hidden from you. Someone's there to give you support from whatever it is you're walking away from. And you don't know that they're there. <clears throat> Any other messages for Cancers? I'm also getting a lot of hidden emotion, a lot of hidden hidden feelings, a lot, oh, okay, a little bit of a secret admirer energy. So Cancer, while you're leaving a situation with dignity, you could be leaving a relationship while someone you know is like waiting for you to fully get out of it to embrace you. <clears throat> Let's see, any other messages for Cancers? Any other messages for Cancers? Oh, that's it. Overall energy, oh my. Ace of Cups in reverse. Underneath that, we do have the Hierophant in reverse, Taurian energy. <sighs> a cup has been emptied. 
Cancer, a cup has been emptied. Oh, Cancers. For the Cancers that I'm tapped into in this group, you're feeling a little hurt, but again, you're leaving with dignity. You know it's the right decision, which is why you're not upset about it. But there's been a cup of love that's definitely been poured out, okay? It's been emptied, it's evaporated, it's run its course. And there, I'm getting a break in commitment here along with that, a break in faith. Cancers, some of you might be losing faith in love, especially with whatever it is you're leaving. Losing faith in love, not, not, not really being willing to have a whole lot of uh, water in your cup right now. Um, considering whatever it is that you're leaving. It's taking a lot of strength for you to leave this way, I might add. You're doing it amazingly well, but it is taking strength for you to leave, okay? But you don't see that on the other side. You do have support. I, lots of hugs are coming in. <laughs> lots of hugs. Um, and for some of you, it's, it is a secret admirer that you don't even know about. You don't even know, and they've been waiting for you to leave this relationship, job, what have you. I feel like it's more about leaving a relationship. But let's dive in and see. Let's look at the four of wands in reverse and see what's going on with that, okay? I'm going to use Rider Wait for this one. Tell me about Four of Wands in Reverse. I just heard Aries. I just heard Aries. Tell me about Four of Wands in Reverse for Cancer. Tell me about Four of Wands in Reverse for Cancer. Tell me about Four of Wands in Reverse for Cancer. Tell me about four of wands in reverse for cancer. Hmm. The world. Fixed energy. So Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorp Scorpio, also Saturn, which rules Capricorn here. Going into a whole new cycle. With Ace of Cups on the bottom. Whatever it is you're leaving behind, Cancer, it's it's starting a whole new chapter for you, okay? Starting a whole new chapter, which again, you feel good about it. You feel good about your decision. Even if it sucks, even if it hurts. Maybe you're just like, damn it, like, I really have to do this. I really have to do this. And you're you're digging down for that strength and you're doing it again very gracefully. Very gracefully, very sophisticated, very high class. Talking about four of wands in reverse for cancer. Tell me about four of wands in reverse. <clears throat> for cancer. Tell me about four of wands in reverse for cancer. Tell me about four of wands in reverse for cancer. Oh. <coughs> Sorry guys, my allergies are really bothering me. <clears throat> Tell me about four of wands in reverse for cancer. Tell me about four of wands in reverse for cancer. Tell me about four of wands in reverse for cancer. Interesting. Tell me about four of wands in reverse for cancer. Okay, then we have a two of swords, moon and Libra energy, overall energy for the four of wands in reverse. We do have knight of wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. Someone's behavior has been really, really over the line. That's why you're leaving this situation. Someone's been very unpredictable, even volatile. I'm getting a lot of anger and rage too. But the unpredictable factor is what's been getting to you. And definitely the you Cancer, they crossed a line with you. They definitely crossed a line with you. And you're just like, that's it. That's it. That's all I need to know. I know what I have to do now. And you're going into a whole new cycle. Again, it's not easy. You're digging down for strength. And with that two of swords, it tells me that it's been a it's going to be a very hard decision if you haven't been there yet. For those who've already made this choice, you know it was a hard choice. You know, it was a hard choice to make, especially because you felt like you didn't really know what would come of you leaving this foundation. Foundations could be work. Again, it's something that you've built for yourself. It doesn't always have to be a relationship. If you're leaving a job because someone's acting crazy, <laughs> this is kind of a crazy car. There's a little bit of cray cray energy. Um, you have support on the other end for you that you're not aware of. OK, so don't worry about that. Um, but for those where this is you leaving a relationship, someone just crossed the line and you've had it. You had a cancer. You know it. You know your standards. You know your worth, and you're not gonna put up with crazy. You're not gonna put up with crazy. No matter how hard it is to to walk away, you're doing it, and it's leading to a whole new cycle for you, cancer, which is great. I love that. However, keep in mind, like I said, there's this this energy of of not having a whole lot of faith in love 
right now at this point, especially for those leaving relationships. Also feeling like you don't have a whole lot of emotional support um, or a lot of spiritual strength once you're leaving this, but you do, Cancer, you do. You just think you don't, but you do. So I'm curious about this. I'm really curious about this little support system on the other end of it. For others, it is a secret admirer, you know, suppress suppression of emotions. And also this is just something you're not seeing. So like I said, it could be either for anybody. Support system you're not aware about that you will become aware about once you leave this foundation and go into your whole new cycle. A lot of hugs, a lot of hugging energy and others it is a secret admirer. So let's look at the moon. See if they'll tell me anything. They don't always tell me stuff about the moon because it is the unknown or the secrets, the illusion, right? So let's take a peek if we can get anything, all right? <clears throat> tell me about the moon for cancer. 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 Okay. Tell me about the moon for cancer. Tell me about the moon for cancer. Okay. Let's see what this one's about. Ooh judgment i like it i like it fire energy <laughs> excuse me guys also scorpionic because this card represents pluto okay judgment is based judgment comes in a lot of flavors judgment upright is usually a reconciliation two people coming together it's also basically indicating that there's um people making right decisions, um, being on their path, uh, spiritually ordained decisions as well. Either way, it's a big thumbs up. <laughs> it's a big, big thumbs up. And also practicing forgiveness is also something I'm, I'm getting here. Tell me about the moon for cancer. I'm hearing gift, 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 gift. Hmm, interesting. This support system or the secret admirer could be Quite literally, a little bit of a consolation prize from spirit. That does happen. Tell me about the moon for cancer. <laughs> King of Pentacles. Taurian energy could also be earth or air for those where that first spread resonated. There could be a connection here between these two reads, all right? I mean, my goodness. Something you really don't see, Cancer. Um reconciliation with this king of pentacles this the person who's the support system for you if it's not a reconciliation or if it's not a lover um if it's just a support system like a friend or a family member um it's someone who really really wants to be there for you someone who really really wants to provide as well there's something here about this person's um spiritual status I'll, I'll put it that way but i can't put my finger on it i feel like something about this person's spiritual status has changed recently i don't know what that's about they could have changed their perspective on spirituality they could have chosen a whole other you know belief system chosen to believe in something else but there's something there there's something there that'll resonate for you some of you guys all right let's keep it going and like I said, Cancer, this is hidden from you. You don't know it. <laughs> this is very much hidden from you. Tell me more about the moon for Cancer. Tell me about the moon for Cancer. Tell me about the moon for Cancer. Tell me about the moon for Cancer. Let's see here. Oh, oh, how interesting. Now we have... A king of wands and a queen of wands in reverse. King of wands is Leo energy. It could be Cancer, Leo, Cusper. It's also fire and air. Queen of wands in reverse is Aries energy. It's funny, I did hear Aries earlier. Also fire and water. We have a true pair on the board, people. We got a true pair on the board. Um, Cancer, I just got a call like I see it. This is definitely going to be resonating with the first reading if, the, if you resonated with that, okay? Um, this is their energy as the king of wands, like someone who's really ready to take action, someone who's ready to be a leader, someone who's ready to be a leader. I feel like this person has always felt like a leader. Oh, they learned, they had to learn. Okay, this person has always had the personality of a leader, but they had to learn how to really be a leader, 
effectively, like what it means to be a good leader. They had to learn. They were naturally good at it, but they had some, they had some, I'll just say flaws when none, when none of us are perfect, that they had to work out to get there is what I'm getting with that. And they're looking at you, Cancer, like a queen of wands in reverse. <clears throat> they're looking at you as someone that they really upset. Okay, someone they really upset, someone who's not going to tolerate a whole lot. However, mm, I'm getting a little bit of jealousy here with that as well. I don't know what this jealousy is about. Because you're not jealous, Cancer. I know you're not jealous. I know you're not jealous. But why are they looking at you like that? I think that might be a projection of theirs, Cancer. Because you're not jealous. I can feel your energy. You're not. You are not jealous. But they're kind of perceiving you that way. They're perceiving you that way for some reason, but I know you're not. I know you're not. That's a projection of their own making, so don't worry about that. That's a projection of their own making. Either way, the point is, they see you as a true pair, okay? They do see you as a true pair. Um, they do want to have a coming together of sorts, a coming together. They don't want this energy. They don't want this feisty energy to be between the two of you, okay? They don't want that. And Cancer, like I said, I don't think you were jealous, but whatever you said in response to their behavior, remember, they're they're very unpredictable, um, even a little volatile energy. Whatever you did or said in response to that, they took it as you being jealous. I don't think you were, though. I think you were just standing up for yourself. I think you're just standing up for yourself. Overall energy for the moon, we do have the Five of Cups, Scorpionic energy. This is sadness. This is being upset and grieving over what was what has been what the the good times that were lost however like always the two of cups is right there still standing the connection's still very much there it's this person's energy not yours this person's very upset by you leaving cancer these two reads are definitely related this person's upset by you leaving but you left because they were very inappropriate i'll just say inappropriate that's probably the best way to say that and even though it was hard for you to do it you started a whole new cycle for yourself and the truth of it is they have emotion for you and they want to be a support system for you on the other side of that. They do. They want that. Okay. Cancers, for some of you, this you got two different people going on here. Okay. For some of you, Cancers, you have a King of Pentacles who's very much willing to be that support system, that very grounded, yummy, earthy energy, regardless of their sign, because they saw what you've been through already, even with someone who you should be very compatible with. They saw what you've been through. They know that you know your worth. They know that about you. They love that about you. And they want to be that rock for you. They want to be that hug, that support system, that pillar for you, okay? Because they know what you've been through already. And they know you deserve better. That's lucky for some of you. Like I said, these two different people going on, that secret admirer who's waiting there to catch you. Very sweet. Very, very sweet energy. All right, let's let's pull some oracle cards for this one. I actually want to use a spirit animal deck. Let's use a spirit animal deck. Let's get some advice for you, Cancer. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Come on now. Okay. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Let's see here. Oh! Oh, you guys know I love this card. It's so freaking sweet. Otter spirit, you are never alone. 42 breaking down to a six this is a reminder cancer that you do have someone here who really cares about you who really wants to be your support system whether you know it's a secret admirer who's who's seen what you've been through and who just wants to be there there to support you she wants to be there to hug on you to love on you or whether it's the same person 
who acted a fool, who acted crazy, even though they are a, a really compatible person with you, they want to, they want forgiveness, they want to apologize to you, whether it's that person or a family member who just really wants to be there for you as well, okay? You're never alone, Cancer. You're never alone. This card in this deck is very much like a Six of Cups, Two of Cups lover's card for me in this deck. Very indicative of a very, very deep soul connection, okay? Otters are always touching. They're like, they're so fucking cute. They're always touching each other. They can't, they can't help it. And anytime they lose each other, it's like, they reach out. It's very cute. You guys have to look up the footage. It's adorable. Anyway, let's see what we got, Cancers. Oh, very nice. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. 57 breaking down to a three. This is definitely about this energy of losing faith in love, feeling, feeling like you don't have a whole lot of emotional waters to even give anymore. Really questioning that. Really questioning your faith as well. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it, Cancer. Have the, have your confidence back and start believing in love again. Believe in your own emotional waters. Did this go bad? Yeah, it went bad, but it's also a lesson learned, right? This person learned who you really were, what you weren't going to be putting up with, and that you have standards, and you're learning what not to deal with anymore, right? You're learning what not to deal with anymore, and you will be making the right decisions. This is basically saying you need to keep the faith in love, Cancer. Keep the faith in love alive, all right? Let's see what else we got for you guys. Any other advice for Cancers regarding this spread? Oh, nice. Any other advice for Cancers regarding this spread? Any other? Oh, shit. I'll get that in a second. Any other advice for Cancers? Okay. Oh, come on. I'm so tiny. <laughs> okay. All right. So we have frog spirit. Clear up the clutter. 28. That's a cyclical energy. Cycles closing. Cycles opening, right? Seahorse spirit. Watch and wait. 53 breaking down to an 8 and make your dreams real. 57 breaking down to an 11. So these three cards, I love that these cards came out. Very, very, very clear cut cancer. There is a waiting period. There is a grace period here while someone gets their shit together. Okay. Whether it's you or the other person, there's a needing to get some shit out in the air, get some shit cleared out, do some purging, do some major healing. And while that's going on, there's major manifestation energy at work. Okay. This is the advice. While someone's busy cleaning their house, doing, oh, come back, come back now. Okay, while someone's busy cleaning out their house, there is a little bit of a grace period, a little bit of a waiting period while you're busy manifesting cancer. You manifest while they clean, okay? Especially if this is the same person wanting to come back, let them clean out their shit, let them get their shit together, and you're gonna go into manifestation mode, okay? It is a waiting period, it is a, a bit of a, I'll say hanged man, a bit of a hanged man energy, um, but it's gonna be for the better, especially with that 53, Breaking down to an eight, that's about success. That's about prosperity. That's about abundance coming as a result of, of waiting, of waiting, okay? And when I say waiting, I don't mean putting your whole life on hold, you know, shutting down dates left and right. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. You wait actively because you're going to be manifesting and they're going to be clean in their house. Overall energy, <clears throat> we have antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. Things are going to take off, Cancer. It might not seem like it. It might not seem like it. You might feel like, damn, I just, I left this situation. Yeah, it's it's changed a lot in my environment, but now what? I don't have a whole lot of faith and love. I don't have a whole lot of this. I don't have a whole lot of that. Things are going to pick up so much faster than you think they will, especially if you still harness this advice of believing in love again and believing that there are people who love you and care about you, especially for those who got the secret admirer or this person who wants to come back at a later time and you know, practice amends, making amends with you, um, getting back on track with you. If you hold on to the energy of belief and faith and love and go in a manifestation mode while this person cleans out their house, you're going to be just fine. I know it's a lot of advice. I know it's a lot of advice, but it's good advice. It's good advice. And Cancers, it's going to really work in your favor, okay? All right, Cancers, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you guys really had a great birthday season. I will see you guys later. Have a great night and namaste.